What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another in-depth player review. So today we're taking a look at Leo Messi. He's been tearing it up in real life, and this card is insane. I've been playing with this card for a long time, but since the last update, lads, I definitely think he's had a buff because he is just banging goals in for me. I mean, two, three goals a game sometimes, and it's just his runs. His player ID seems to have been slightly adapted. This is the version that we're using, just slightly different. I'll show you my build of him in a couple of minutes. But look at this for first time passing. One touch pass, true passing, and he's got an 88 overall low pass, which gets boosted up to a 90 when you have the player form arrow. But he's just got everything you could possibly want in a player. Um, but the big thing with Messi, lads, is, right, I see a lot of people talk about Messi, and they're saying, like, oh, Messi is not good enough, Messi is not, you know, fast enough, he's not explosive enough. Even if you take a look at this Messi, lads, right, you will see the distance that he covered on that counter-attack. And I'll show you a couple of more examples as well, when he has the ball at his feet, and when he doesn't have the ball at his feet, right? With the way the gameplay is at the moment, you do have to play to the player's strengths. Now, obviously, that is overrode, I suppose, by having players like Mbappe, Romario, really fast, explosive players. Um, and the same with the defenders. If you've got really aggressive defenders, you don't really need to pay too much attention to their stats and rating. It, it, it kind of is just the way their, their card is built and their play style is built, right? But with the likes of Messi, right? I think you're really missing out if you don't shoot with him. Messi in tight pockets of space, like real life, I do think that they have his ID pretty decent. The speed at 70 here on this 95 overall build is still going to be enough. If you want to go onto the 96 level, you do need to boost up the dribbling, right? But you have to be shooting with Messi. You have to be shooting with these type cards. If you don't shoot a lot, I would not recommend Messi unless you want to use him as a run and gun, like explosive danger player, right? But Messi is one of the players I think that space really shines with him, that he picks pockets of space. And if you're able to attack it, stop, start dribbling, as you'll see here, this is one of my best goals that I scored it in, but this is what it's all about. Look, tie pockets of space, little fake shot, and then boom, right? We'll rewind that back and give you a little more of a view of that because that's what Messi is brilliant at doing. And I've started playing to his strengths a lot more since the last update. You know, cut him with the right, finish with the left, boom. And the curled finesse shots have been nerfed a little bit, but you can still finish with Messi. You know, he's got excellent technique. You can still finish left foot, right foot. I'm playing him in this advanced SS position. He goes up to a 98 overall with the team play style um, from the boosted stats there. Uh, I'm playing him as an SS just off the shoulder of my target man, which is King Collar, okay? But most of the time with this squad that I'm using, I'm making the runs with Nkunku or Diaby as my speedsters, my kind of like, you know, alternate attack path from, you know, getting crosses in or else cutting in. I'm not really cutting in with Diaby. But with Messi, this is what it's all about. When you pick up pockets of space like this, he's able to pass, he can finish. If he's able to take on the dribble and score and shoot, he can do that as well as you see here. This is what it's all about though. These types of passes with his right foot, it's just insane ability. And I think that he has been boosted up a little bit um, and buffed since the last update, right? Even from here, instant touch and dribble, cut in again, double touch, little trick move, skill move, and then boom, into the bottom corner, right? Um, makes it look easy. He's one of the players that still is able to curl shots in. So if you've been sleeping on Messi, or if you've never really given this card a try, I would definitely recommend him. He is a game changer for me. You can see he's a range of abilities over a couple of games here. Um, but let me know what you think, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe.